And that's how Jupiter changed orbits to where he is now and caused the destruction of several rocky planets. This was the Grand Tag of Jupiter. <laughs> to be continued. Bye! It was chaos. A disaster. Dead rocky planets left and right, all because of Jupiter's grand tack. And this really happened? It did! Oh, probably. Check this out. So this is where Jupiter was most likely formed. But early on, it just moved around, getting closer to the sun. You can see there are a lot of little rocky planets all around. And then, because of Saturn, Jupiter moved further away from the Sun? Indeed, thus causing a ton of chaos, changing everyone's orbits, and sort of setting the foundation of the solar system we live in today. Did I really do this? Yeah, you did. And there's no way the Sun won't find out. The Sun? Yep, you're a planet killer, Jupiter. No way back for you now. Hey, cut it out, Planet X! You're not helping! Cut it out. I told you not to do this. I told you, and you two just ignored me and treated me like I was lesser than you. I guess what comes around, goes around. I... I wasn't trying to... Who cares what you were trying to do? You did this! Ah! Oh, what? Oh, now you're done for. My... my planets! What, what happened to them? Hey, son. W what is it? I think you should ask Jupiter about it. Jupiter? Why are you not in your orbit? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Come on, Jupiter. Just say it. I... Uh, I tried to stop them. The, the rocky planets, they, they, they woke up and tried to leave their orbits. What? Hey, that's not some what... Some of them crashed and some just left the solar system. Son! He's That's not right! Jupiter had to leave his orbit to chase them! Like the big role model he is! I'm... I'm sorry, son. I can return to my orbit if- No! S stay there! If you move another inch, we could cause more instability! Th th That's your new orbit, Jupiter! Just s stay in your orbit! You're disgusting, Jupiter. That's enough, X! And you two for offending him. You two are just horrible. What would you have us do? Confess. Tell the son the truth. He will hate me. We will... I don't know what he'll do to me. Whatever he does, it's his right. We all live in his solar system. So stop acting all sorry and confess. But don't think for a second you'll keep this a secret. Please, I... I need to think. I'll take your time. But if you don't tell the son, then I will do it. He's so unlikable. And he's right. None of this was your intention. Does it matter, Saturn? Just, just look at the mess I've made. Things are always changing in the solar system. Planets crash with each other all the time. Stop making excuses for me. You're right. I shouldn't make excuses for you. But I also don't want to see my best friend get destroyed by the sun. So just stop for a minute and think. So at this point, some of the big players of the solar system are mostly in their place. But before we move on to the elephant in the room... Planet X? We have to understand just how unusual this whole thing was. If we look at our galaxy, we will see a lot of solar systems with super-Earths moving very fast. Like, like hundred-day orbits around the sun kind of fast. But ours... Ours has slower planets and younger rocky planets than most solar systems. This is because most of the rocky planets we know of today came from the debris of these destroyed planets that Jupiter caused. Jupiter must have felt awful. Again, honey, they are not sentient. Sentient planets would destroy our entire understanding of reality. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Maybe. But anyways, before our solar system began to look like we know it today, there was one oddball in the mix. Hey, you two. 
Ugh, can we not do this now? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I inconveniencing you with my guilt tripping? X, I, I need time to think of how I'm gonna explain this to the sun. Really? Because it seems like you're just stalling for time until I move on from this. I'm not! I promise! Enough, Jupiter, okay? I warned you about this. Hey! You stop! Wait! It's not gonna work, Jupiter. X, there are new rocky planets forming past this point. Let's not make things messier. Ha! Huh. Guess who decided to care about the other planets? Well, I do care, and I feel horrible. Let's not both make the same mistake. Let me go. I'm just getting a bit closer to talk to the sun. Please! Please what? Oh, don't play the hero now. You're stopping me to save your own surface. I'm telling the sun. Saturn! On it! Not being silenced. Ah! X! Oh no! Did we use too much strength? I don't know. He wasn't stopping. What are we gonna do? Say anything? No, nothing, mate. What? Do you want more planets to be destroyed? Jupiter, we are the biggest planets, and the solar system is too unstable right now. If we continue moving things around, we'll just make things worse. But what do we tell the sun? Tell me what? Uh, sun, uh, 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 how long have you been there? Long enough to know that I don't know anything. Wait, where's X? I don't see him. He's... he's gone. Sun gone? What do you mean, gone? He... he wanted to explore other solar systems, and he... left. Ah! After everything I do for you all, so be it! Good riddance, Planet X! Just leave my solar system! We don't need you! We have everything we need here! From now on, everyone will stay in their orbit, and we will all be friends, and no more planets will crash with each other or abandon the solar system or any of that! Is that clear? Yes, sir. That was close. Sadder, we... What do we do now? We make things right from now on, Jupiter. But we lied! I know! I guess we'll have to live with that. And with Planet X now in the empty void of space past the Kuiper Belt, the solar system as we know it today began to form. And a new generation of rocky planets would emerge. But that's a story for another day.